YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with a little bit of a Dollar Tree haul, and I do have a request at the end of this, so please stay tuned. But first, I will show you what I did pick up from the Dollar Tree. Um, first off, I did pick up a book, because I need more books, obviously. It is called The Watchers by John Steele. And as you can see, there's actually still a sticker on top that lists it for $14.69. Kind of an oddball price, but... Mark Rocha watches over the city at night from the belfry in the cathedral. He lives in a world of shadows and before times and imaginary beings. Catherine Taylor, call girl and dreamer, is about to discover that her real life fairy tale is too good to be true. Jay Harper, private detective, wakes up in a crummy hotel room with no memory. When the telephone rings and he's offered a job, he knows he has no choice but to accept. Three lives, one purpose. Save what's left of, the par of paradise before all hell breaks loose. It takes place at the La Lausanne Cathedral in Switzerland. So, I thought that sounded really interesting. Let's see, I also picked up a of cotton rounds because the last time I went to Target they were actually out so I just grabbed one to hold me over. I did pick up some Avenger Age of Ultron um, temporary tattoos because I thought they were cute. Let's see. I picked up a Leisure Time Sudoku for my husband because I am making him a Father's Day packet because he did pick me up something really lovely for Mother's Day by the way. I am not mother to a human child, but I am mother to a fur baby who is currently digging his way onto the couch to make a perfect spot for himself. Oh, I did have another book. I thought I did. I have The Unexpected Miss Bennett. Let's see. The third of five daughters, Miss Mary Bennett is a rather unremarkable girl. As her countenance is somewhat between plain and pretty, and she's in possession of no great accomplishments, few expect the third Bennett daughter to attract a respectable man. But although she is shy and would much prefer to keep her nose in a book, Mary is uncertain that she wants to meekly follow the path the spinsterhood set before her. Determined that Mary should have a chance at happiness, the elder Bennett sisters concoct a plan. Lizzie invites Mary to visit at Pemberley, hoping to give her sister a place to grow and make new acquaintances. But it is only when Mary strives for independence that she can, accept, that she can attempt to become accomplished in her own right. And in a family renowned for its remarkable Miss Bennett, Mary may turn out to be the most wholly unexpected of them all. Once again, I thought it sounded neat. Let's see. I just had to have this because even though I have a ton of notebooks, this really appealed to me. Really cute little dog on the front, and it has googly eyes. Uh, let's see. It does have a, the same picture on the back without the googly eyes. Let me unwrap it real quick, and I will show it to you. Here he is on the back. Looks like a little cross between maybe a chihuahua and a rat terrier. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. I did pick up a hair donut, but this is not actually going to go in my hair. I heard from Amber F that she uses these little hair donuts to kind of like uh, spot clean her brushes day to day so that she can reuse them and not have to use, you know, five hair makeup brushes in one setting. So I'm going to give that a try, and this was literally the only one they had in the store, so I figured it was as good as any. And I picked up another thing of the Salon Selectives 3-Minute Hair Therapy, restores and strengthens and contains argan oil from Morocco. This stuff is amazing. I love it. I just finished the tub, and while I want to go through some samples of deep conditioners that I have, as soon as I'm done with those, I will be returning back to this. And now the kind of request that I have, a girl on Instagram, uh, her Instagram name is Ulta under slash daily, Ulta like the store. Like she provides a lot of Ulta deals. She kind of does drugstore deals too. She does some reviews on things she picks up from Ulta. Her sister is going on a mission trip and she said that she was sending along some kind of lightly used nail polishes. And of course everybody jumped on her. It's like, can we send stuff too? And I went ahead and asked, hey, is there anything else that I can send along? Like maybe, you know, how some people do like the lightly used makeup that you sanitize and send to like women's shelters and stuff. And she's like, 
Well, they don't really need that, but she's actually, I think her sister is either an optometrist or works for an optometrist. So lots of things that they need are like prescription glasses that you no longer use or reading glasses or anything of that nature. So she specifically said, if you could do it, pick up some reading glasses from like the Dollar Tree. So I picked up 10 glasses from the Dollar Tree. Uh, they do say on them what uh, prescription that they are or what lens strength, I guess. I picked up as many different ones as I could. I picked up all different kinds of styles. So I'm going to bundle this up in as much uh, bubble wrap as I can possibly shove it in. Include a bunch of lightly used nail polishes that I no longer use or found better formulas in the same color or stuff like that. Because the little kids where she's going love to play with nail polish as well. So if you guys would like to either pick up some reading glasses, have some prescription glasses you can sit along. I only have one pair of prescription glasses so I can't send an extra pair or if you just want to send along some extra nail polishes i'm going to link her instagram below because the address she gave me was her personal address so i don't feel comfortable just releasing that into the world but if you go and contact her and she's still taking stuff hopefully she can forward you her dress along and you guys can send stuff too that would be great so anyways thank you guys for tuning in as always i really appreciate it and i will see you later bye